Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Advanced Technology by Rana. In today's session, I'm going to upgrade firmware of Catalyst 9200 series switch. And this upgrade is not on an individual switch, but a stack of five switches. I have received a request from my viewers that they want to know what the process for upgrading and how switches behave during a stack of switches and you do the firmware upgrade so uh, let's start our lab for today and i will build a stack of five switches in front of you and i will show you how we do the stacking few years earlier it was very difficult to do the firmware upgrade since you have required a physical access with the switch with the help of network cable and you required some software like tftp server to do the upgrade and people face problem in terms of connectivity sometimes software compatibility or the process was little bit lengthy but in the recent uh, years cisco have introduced usb option in their all product which make it very easy that with the help of small usb you just do upgrade in few seconds even though you are not physically available with the product someone just need to plug this usb in the port and you do the upgrade remotely with the command line so uh, i will build a lab for today with a stacking ports and a stacking cable this is the stacking cable which is required for uh, to build a stack of uh, more than one switches and you can do up to eight switches together as a stacking and this is the module it is a modular part which is required and i will uh, connect this one and i will connect my stacking cable together to build a stack of five switches so let's uh, move to our switches and we'll see how we will build this lab. So guys, these are my five switches and I will build a stack of uh, these uh, switches together. And for this one, we need a stacking module. Okay, I already fixed the remaining modules and this one I keep it for this uh, session. And you will just connect it and uh, you will tie it with the, with the screwdriver and it will automatically move inside gradually. Okay, so I fixed this one. Second thing, you need the stacking cable, stacking network cable, and you will connect first cable with the first module, and then the second cable will go to the second switch, port number two. Okay, this through, uh, through this process, I will build a ring of uh, switches together. The second cable, which will connect with the first switch, it will go to the last switch port number one. So this is the order and we call it daisy chain as well. Okay, so through this one, I will build a stack up to eight switches together. So this is my first port and I will connect with the last switch port number one. The same thing I will do with the second switch port number one and the third switch port number two. Then the third switch and the fourth switch, port number two. And then fourth switch, port number one. And the last switch, port number two. So guys, finally, I built 
uh, the stack of five switches and the cables are fixed properly this one you have to make sure that your cable should not be loose otherwise your ring will be broken okay anytime so this is the shape final shape of my switches so let's power up and uh, we'll see how the switches are connected when we do a power up So guys, finally, my switches are powered up. Okay, all the cables are fixed. Power cable are fixed. Stack cable are fixed. And I will connect uh, the console cable with one of my switch. And we will go to the CLI to see the upgrade process. So guys, finally, my switches are powered up. And now we will connect through the CLI. And uh, we will download the iOS. And uh, then we'll do the firmware upgrade. So I will share my screen now. The first command uh, to check my stack stat status, I'll give it show stack, or oh, sorry, show switch, okay? And it will show me the my stack total number of switches and their role. There is uh, one as active, one as standby, and remaining are the members one, okay? How the selection is happen for the, for the active standby and member, the switch with the highest priority or the lowest MAC address is is uh, selected as the active member okay by default the property is one so it will take the lowest mac address uh, in the in your stack member another thing if you want to do uh, some specific switch as a stack member as a active you will do one thing you will just power up that switch as an earlier than other switches so this is also a way to become uh, some specific switch as a active member okay or you will change the property and if you change the property the command is switch one for example this is my switch one and property i can give it 15 above the one okay but this way i have to reload my whole stack to take uh, my my property as an effective to become an active member okay so this is the uh, the command to check the stack members so to check the ios download i will give a command show platform this command give me a summary about my overall stack switches what is their model number how, what number of ports are there their serial numbers their mac addresses hardware version and the software version so current version is 17305 so my uh, model is c9224p so I will log into the Cisco website with my credential. I'll go to the support. I'll go to the production download. From here, I'll go to switches. I'll get all the models for the Cisco switches and their hardware. From here, I'll go to my Catalyst 9200. And then I'll go to the downloads. From here, I have all the models. Okay, so my model is 9224P. So this is my model. Okay, so I'll go to all, all release. And I found here, suggested release are Bengaluru 1764 and Amsterdam 734. There is no difference in Bengaluru or Amsterdam. So I'll go with the Bengaluru. I'll click on it. And this is the iOS, which is really released on 18 August. Okay, and the version is 1764. I will make it download and then I will copy to my USB. I, I already copied to my USB. So I'll do one thing. I'll just go over here and I will connect my USB with my active switch. This is my active. Okay. So I connect on the port number, the first port, which is port number zero. It is identified as USB flash zero. Okay. If I will connect on the port number one, the, the next port, it will show as USB one. Okay, so it identified at USB one. Another thing I would like to tell you that I have five switches in my stack. 
what will happen if i will connect other than my active member okay what is the usb order it will take it i will just show you i will connect with another switch in my stack so take it usb flash 0 dash 3 so why the order is changed this is noticeable the thing is that the usb 0 slash 3 mean the port number 0 of my switch number 3 so i connect with my member port member switch okay so it gives the usb is 0 port number 0 switch number 3 so if i connect to some other switch in my member so now i connected on the usb port number 0 switch number 4 okay so this is the behavior of the of the of the switches in the stack when you will connect your usb to it so i will go back to my active member okay usb 0 i already created one file i'll show you here i will upload in the description that uh, the ios upgrade so i put all the command here for the upgrade ios i will put in the description of this video and you can copy from there so finally my usb 0 uh, flash 0 is there so i will do one thing i will give the command show usb flash usb flash 0 and it will give me my ios in my flash okay so i will start the process now for the upgrading the first command i will give it that is install remove inactive this command will analyze my flash and it will remove any unnecessary file which is not in use to make the space in my flash okay if the space is uh, there and the, there is no inactive file it will it will give me the message otherwise it will ask me to remove the unnecessary file Okay, so finally I got the message, no extra package or, or provisioning files found on the media. Nothing to clean. Okay. So I'll copy now. USB flash 0 to my flash. Okay. What is the source file? It asks me, I'll copy the name. This is my source file. And the destination file, I'll keep it same. And it will copy the IOS. So this is a very simple process and this is very fast as compared if you go for a TFTP server over the network. It is faster than this one. Okay. Let's copy now. The next command I will give it DIR flash dot bin stack dot bin okay so it will show me what i have copied in the flash this file is copied now and this is uh, the bytes in total and this is the free space the next command i will check the integrity of my ios image that during the copy of the ios is there any manipulation is happen or not okay or the integrity of my uh, my ios is not compromised for this one i will give a command verify md5 flash image dot bin okay sorry i have to give the name sorry image this is my image file okay so finally my image is verified and there is no compromise i can verify uh, this is a uh, md5 value of my image i can cross check this value on the ios which i have downloaded here if you check over here i have this md5 checksum okay so this value should be matched with my output so if you check over here this is my value start with 65 and ending with 684 start with 65 and ending with 684 so it's mean there is no compromise in the in the integrity of my ios during copying it the next command i will give it to set the boot variable i'll go to the configuration mode i'll mention boot 
system flash package config okay i'll mesh mention one more command no boot manual so i will do manually reboot then i will do to the exit i'll make it write memory now we'll check that uh, the boot variable is is uh, set or not for this one i will get command show boot okay so my boot variables variables are matched now as per my flash package dot config so the next command i will mention to install the software image to my flash for this one i'll give command install add files flash i'll copy here the new, the new image name i'll copy from here this is my image name and i'll make it activate commit okay so once i i enter the command the process will start it now so the process is started it will take approximate uh, 10 to 15 minutes depend on the on the on the stack member if you have uh, less member it will take less time but if you have eight members it will uh, check uh, and install the ios on each and every stack member so now it's showing me copying flash my image from switch number 1 to switch 2 3 and 4 5 which is my stack members okay so it will copy to all switches flash so now uh, it is going to uh, start activating the package okay and the version 1764 1764 uh, i believe this is a uh, yes 1764 this is the new version package there is no issue happen internally and the status is passed if something wrong it will give you message over here clearly okay so finally this operation may required a reload of the system so it asking me to reload my stack to make my new ios effective so i'll make it yes and the process finally is started
So finally, my iOS is upgraded. I'll give a command show platform. Okay. And the new version 17.6.4 is already installed. And the command show version. Okay. So it will give me the information about iOS XC 17.6.4. So finally, we have done the upgrade uh, iOS on the stack of switches, which were five members in one stack. Show switch. Show platform. Okay, guys.